Hey everybody, it's Ben here coming at you with this month's electric bill. I've been sharing these ever since I put in solar a couple of years ago. Uh, basically, the whole setup cost me about $6,500 after some tax incentives, and it makes about $1,000 worth of electricity per year. So this would actually be for uh, last month, so our May calendar month. Let's open it up, take a look. Uh, this is about a 5,400 watt system on the AC side, and I'm grid tied. So right now it's nice and sunny out. Uh, any extra electricity I have isn't going to a battery, just going back out to the grid where it's tracked and I'm credited, and that shows up on my electric bill. So if we take a look at our bottom line number here, a little breezy out, my electric bill for this past month comes to negative $69.80. But the best thing is I've got a nice solid deal with my power company, one for one uh, by kilowatt. And when it's converted into that credit, that's just a credit on my electric bill. And frankly, that's been snowballing the last couple of months. So right now I have an outstanding balance with the power company of negative $309 exactly. So I don't know about you, but uh, I like not paying an electric bill. In fact, they're paying me right now, which means I can actually afford to use more electricity, ideally displacing other things. For example, we've got an electric car right back here. I've got another one over here. We're able to power those off of electricity we're making ourselves right now, instead of going out and spending good money on gasoline and burning that, polluting the environment, causing a lot of CO2 and everything. Now, I'm not saying solar is right for everybody. Maybe you live in a, a very shaded area or you're an apartment dweller or something like that. But if you have your own home, you've got some nice south facing exposure, go check it out. Solar is cheaper than ever and it's a great way to get into renewable energy and until next time stay charged up